do anything else, <laughs> what happened behind me? <laughs> Can I put that in the blooper reel? <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> Push-ups, it's not as easy as you think, especially if your hands are in the right uh, And let me show you that right now, going down. <laughs> One gaga. <laughs> Am I still rolling? Yeah, it's, uh, and if you use a lot of different equipment, it might be easier for you just to, to, to know those two settings and just use that. <laughs> now the other two principles are hand position and seat position and arm position. Now, hand position and arm position with this exercise is, is pretty much, uh, pretty much, hello, pretty much, hello. It's pretty if you put just a pound of muscle on each side of your upper, upper back, you're burning a lot more fat throughout each day. Uh, now, when you're doing a pulling exercise, uh, there's three major components you need, to, you need to focus on. One is seat position, to make sure you're having full range of motion during the exercise. The second is hand position. And the third is something additional I'm going to try to figure out by the end of this clip. Rolling? Huh? What? What? When? Yeah. What's that mean? Does she know showed? She'll be here. She maybe drove separate. Okay. Is that on camera? <laughs> Am I going? <laughs> okay, we're time for. Okay, good. Me time. Me be. Me be done. Me time. <laughs> it's go time. But I don't want to activate any any arm muscles when I do this. So that's one reason. The other reason. Be careful when you're doing something like this. But the axis of rotation of the cam to the place where you place your elbow. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Crap. Uh, another thing on this uh, is seat belt. Remember uh, Newton's third law of uh, equal and opposite reactions and motion and it's going one way and the other. <laughs> pause it, pause it for a second. So when you're done with this movement, use the uh, foot pedal to release the handles, release the tension so you can let yourself out safely. And that's it for the pec fly. Now the nice thing about the pec fly, it's an isolation motion. It's only worked the pec. And if you run right over to chest press, an extra exercise, that's all folks. <laughs> Keep it going. Crapola. Crapola. I'm glad he has headphones on next to us. And if you don't believe me, uh, try singing a song or even talking a song while you squat for two minutes. That was horrible. What was that? Kevin. <laughs> yeah, <it's funny. laughs> you, you don't want to limit the lat muscle to pulling throughout 90 degree range, range of, you don't want to limit the shoulder muscle from pulling throughout just a 90 degree range of motion. You want to be able, be able to, oh geez. When your legs are apart and when your legs are together, which is what you want to do. You want to strengthen the muscle through the full range. Uh, if you're doing a, uh, good. I didn't say through a full range, I said the do do a real range. It's important to always exercise in the right atmosphere, the right exercise environment. And most importantly, always wear the right exercise attire. Yeah. Well, why don't we make that at least something that fits? Oh, oh my peck is quivering. Can you see that? No, I can't. Sorry. It's it's quivering a little bit. Hello, I'm there's a lot of different types of machines out there. I'm going to show you one that with, a, with a few different options as far as hand grip positions and seat settings. Uh, in case you have a facility with a machine with, with many different options available, you'll know how to use that one as well. Some machines have no options whatsoever. 
good luck. <laughs> um, but it's the same thing, horizontal humeral adduction and scapular abduction. So basically you're going from here to here, that's all you need to know. Um, as, you can, as you saw from our little intro montage, there's a lot of just different uh, types of chest presses out there. Um, just the, the key fact on this one, good. Yeah. Okay, we're on to our third exercise for chest, chest press. One moves to the, uh, the chest pad forward and backward. Z now as far as, as far? <laughs> now as far as seats, now as far as seat setting positions go on this machine, there's two actual, now as far as two, <laughs> oh jeez. And so doing a pec fly or a dumbbell fly, uh, something like that, only it's a, it's a what, what the heck was that noise? <laughs> okay, keep it rolling. Crap, she's beating a rug. <laughs> it's kind of fun with the hydraulic settings. Oh. What did I, what, where can I start over? At the beginning? No, no, no. Now you can't do that with a dumbbell fly because when you're doing a dumbbell fly, you're lying on your back, and if you bring the, the hands lower than the shoulders, you actually are putting the weight in a different plane. So this is another advantage of the machine. Also with a dumbbell, when you're doing a dumbbell fly, there's weight when your arms, good. Why can't we do a dumbbell fly? Now one problem with the dumbbell fly is if you, good, lying. <laughs> now you can't do that with, the access to the hands. So, I'm gonna describe it as I do it, okay? okay? Now, when you're pulling back, you wanna have your hands come to that mid axle <laughs> Now, there's also a seat, a <laughs> Brain fart. Now there's also a uh, and the same thing with uh, when you're doing a dumbbell fly. If you're doing a slight incline, it's gonna it's probably a little bit oh good what the heck what am I talking about incline? Ah, <sighs> you definitely don't want to throw off your lower back when you're uh, starting up an exercise program. Zero time. Okay, it's time for a third exercise for pull day. We're trying to work the back biceps and the rear delts. Uh, Okay, it's time for our third exercise for the pull day. Now we've already done the pull down, the vertical grip pull down. Uh, we've done the, not this yet. I'm thinking too much, man. Just explain how to use this stupid machine. Did he catch that? Yeah, actually, it's pretty loud when you're ready? like that. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Stretch and then touch the weight. So you really want to make sure the, that the uh, seat back is, is far enough uh, so you really want to make sure that the seat setting is in the position that once you're warmed up, the weight stack is not touching. So you really want to make sure that once you're warmed up and the muscles are fully, uh, so you really want to make sure that once you're warmed up and the weight, <laughs> so you really want to make sure that once you're warmed up. Now, uh, there's two main uh, seat positions on this, uh, this computer program. <laughs> Jeez. I started switching gears. Everything about strength training, you'll benefit tremendously from this information. Also, the rest of the DVD will make a lot more sense to you. I got it! I did it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? <laughs>
first the first rock backs. You can remove your hands if you like. <laughs> Start with the rock backs. Uh, maybe progress to the one leg over the knee, one ankle over the knee, and then use this as uh, a more advanced training principle. Uh, that's it for lower abs. Uh, you finished leg day, and congratulations. We're going on to the next day, pull day.